Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this cut crease purple eyeshadow look right here. And I strictly use just this Jaclyn Hill palette. This eyeshadow palette is everything you dream of in an eyeshadow palette. It's super creamy, blendable, pigmented, and long wearing. I'm sure you guys have seen so many reviews on this. And this video is not going to be much of a review. It's just me showing you guys how I created this look right here. And the colors that I decided to go with today were the colors that I have not yet swatched. Anyways, let's get right into this video. So I'm going to go ahead and take this color called MFEO right here. And I'm going to use that as a transition color. And then of course to apply that, I'm going to be using my Tarte brush. Um, this one, I don't know what it's called because it came in an eyeshadow palette, but I really do like it. So I'm just going to go right into the crease and sweep it from left to right. And I really like using this tart brush because it's flat, so it goes right into the crease nicely. And it's not super dense, so it's dispersing the colors a little bit more evenly. Next, I'm going to go in with this color right below that. It's called Pookie, and I'm going to layer that right on top of the previous color. Again, going over the same area with the same brush and just sweeping that back and forth. This color is a little bit darker, so it's just going to add a little bit more depth to my crease. Next, I'm going to be taking this darker shade right down here. This is called Central Park, and I'm going to go ahead and apply it right at the outer corner and bring it into the center of the lid. So again, starting at the outer corner, bringing it slightly towards the center, and then I also want to bring it down here. I'm not really sure what kind of look I'm going for but I'm going to deepen the outer edges of my eyes. And I forgot to mention, I am still using the same brush. Now I'm going to take this fluffy brush by e.l.f. and sweep it right over the crease just to blend everything together. Starting right in the center and sweeping it at the edge. Next, I'm going to be taking this sparkly purple right here. It is definitely calling my name, so I'm going to use that. And to apply that, I'm going to be using this Equal Tool Shade Brush. Um, this one has denser bristles, which I want because I want to pack those colors in. Wow, that is a very intense purple. So... It's definitely more pigmented than I expected it to be, which is amazing because sometimes colors you have to really dig into them and go back and forth, which takes a lot more time. And this one here is bam in your face. Now taking this e.l.f. blending brush, I'm going to go back into the Pookie and also Central Park and just apply that right over here to blend everything out. And because I did lose a lot of colors when I started blending the colors out, um, I'm going to go back into this purple color right here and add some more dimension to the outer corner. So I'm mainly going to concentrate it right in the center of my eyelids. And just packing those colors in. Now I'm going to be taking my Bare Mineral Concealer in shade Light 2 and also this e.l.f. shading brush. I think this is a concealer brush. I'm going to go ahead and create a cut crease. Now I'm going to go into this mustard light color right here. It is called Creamsicle and I'm going to apply that right on top of the concealer. And I'm just literally packing this color on. It's such a pigmented color. Now I'm going to go into this color called Queens. I'm going to go into this color called Queens. And it is a shimmery gold glitter eyeshadow. I am going to be using my fingers to apply that right on top of Creamsicle. I am literally packing it onto my lid and the color is coming out really bronzy um, in combination with the color creamsicle that is. 
Now I'm going to go um, into the color in light right here and I am going to apply that into my inner corners. And to apply that I'm going to be using this Tarte brush again but the other end. And just highlighting the inner corners of my eyes. Of course, the other side as well. So taking the same smudger brush that I used earlier, I am going to be taking Royalty and applying that all down on my lower lash. I'm just going to start on the outer corners and really just sweep that towards the inner corner of my eyes. Now I'm going to be taking Pookie right here and with this blending elf brush I am going to lightly blend the bottom lashes out. So right now I think I'm pretty much done with the eyeshadow look. I'm going to go ahead and apply some liner and lashes and I will be right back. Alright, so now that my lashes and eyeliner is applied, I'm going to be taking this Scandalous by Rimmel in black and apply that to my lower waterline. Alright guys, so this is it for the video. I have to say I really, really enjoyed this final look. I don't play around with the color purple very much, but I wanted to use this purple in the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm so glad I did because I really like it. Alright, so tell me what you guys think of this look right here. Um, I would love it if you guys share one of your looks with me using this Jaclyn Hill palette. Of course, leave any questions or comments down below. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and give this video a thumbs up. Other than that, I will see all of you guys next Friday.